Hi, right, welcome to Colorado Brew Talk. I'm Mike, and this is Jesse. Or alternatively, that's Jesse and I'm Mike. So we got a special treat for you tonight. My niece, Edie, traveled all the way across this humongous country of ours from Georgia to visit with my family for a couple of weeks. And she was kind enough to bring three beers from one of her favorite breweries over there near Atlanta. So these beers are from Three Taverns Brewing, which is in lovely Decatur, Georgia, which is really close to Atlanta. It's just kind of right on the outskirts. You got the address, Jesse? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, 121 New Street. So don't get that confused with the one on Old that, Street. Yeah, or it's New Old Street. Or New Old Street. or old. Yeah, so it's yeah. 121 New Street, Decatur, Georgia. Nice. 330. 330. That's, oh, see, they, they have cool zip codes out there. <laughs> 30030. Nice. I like yeah. that. Yeah, it's not like our, our big zip codes. Yeah, our silly ones. Yeah, we used to I guess that's the advantage of being founded early. Being on the East Coast. Yeah. So. Inventing zip codes. <laughs> well, maybe Atlanta didn't invent zip codes. It's no. probably Pennsylvania. But No, well, I think I, well, that's a whole other. But I think they actually start in the Northeast and then go West. So, like, in Maine, it's like. Zero, 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 do. You know, that's your zip code. We should start a flags video <laughs> or, or a zip code and, and area code. Fun with flags? Fun with flags. <laughs> Fun with zip codes. <laughs> we just, watching big we just lost half our audience. Yeah, okay, let's like, get to the beer. Yeah, okay. It's like, what are these two idiots talking about? <laughs> anyway. So uh, the first beer that we're going to try it's, is Saporus. Saporus is a passion fruit and guava sour ale. Read it. So, um, yeah, so it's got, oh, yeah. So passion fruit, guava, lactose sour, bursting with fruit flavors and a smooth, creamy mouthfeel. Nice. So, yeah, 5% ABV. No information on IBU. Yep. Oh, we can get that. Oh. That one's all head. Very nice. Kind of hazy, but hazy. lovely color. Yeah. So, well, that's another one of those that, as soon as you popped it open. Yeah, it went out of the can. Yeah, it's, well, it just, you just smell the the fruit. Oh, yeah, it yeah. like a, someone's chewing juicy fruit gum. Oh, man, yeah, that guava is real strong. Yeah, it is. Now, I cheated. I've already had a couple of these. Yeah. She They're, brought me 12 of each, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah, she was... She likes me. Oh, that's all right. Boy, I <laughs> like that. Yeah. That's right. That's I, I, nice. could, I could eat that with my, or have a glass of this with my Wheaties. Yeah. Boy, that's really good. So, yeah, a lot of the times, when they, especially with these types of sours, I mean, they're they're fine and I kind of expect it, but you drink it and you get that, you know, yeah, tightens up your... Bite. It was like super tart, and which is okay. This, it starts doing that, and then just yeah, it just mellows out mellows at the out end. Yeah, just, none of that. Oh, it's lovely. I, w I would it's great. I don't know. I mean, it's tart. Yeah, but it's not. Yep. You know, anywhere near the middle of the tart scale at yeah. all. Nope. Yeah, if it wasn't as tart as it was, I'd be complaining about that. So, it was, like I said, I was expecting it to be a little tart, but I mean, frankly, I think a glass of grapefruit juice would probably be twice as tart mm -hmm. as this. That is delicious. Oh man. Wow, I would, yeah. Mm. That, well done. No kidding. That is yeah. delicious. Interestingly enough, there's a while where, you know, I, I'm a fan of fruited sours, and so are, you know, other members of the family. And I was doing some research on who had some fruited sours, and uh, this series came up as, you know, I was like, hey, and I wrote down what the mixes were <clears throat> so I could yeah. give them a try. Mm. And... Boy, that is really good. Mm. Yeah. But... Yeah, that I could drink a lot of yeah, very no quickly. Kidding. Normally, with with a lot of beers, even like the lighter beers, I drink them and I'm like, okay, and I, I still take my time. That I would just go, oh, yeah, done. It and really then, is. I mean, it tastes like a, a fruit juice, except it's not nearly as bitter as a fruit juice. No, nope. or as tart as a fruit Absolutely. juice. Yeah, it's smooth. Boy, that would be dangerous yeah. on a hot day. Whoa, boy, 
I would, Absolutely. We'll put a couple of those away. Yeah, especially, I bet you, you could turn it into one of those fancy <coughs> mixed drinks, too. <coughs> oh. It'd be a good base for, uh, I don't know, any mixed drinks. So. Yeah, I don't know. A either. mimosa? No. Mm. What's the one with a bunch of uh, mint in it? Oh, uh, mint julep? No, no. I'm thinking it's a, it's not like a, it's not a daiquiri, it's not a margarita. A mojito, that's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. So, yeah, I bet you this, you throw some mint in this, and this would be a great, I, I don't know, I'm probably giving terrible advice on mojito <laughs> making. I don't know if I've ever even had a mojito. Um, I don't think I ever have either. Yeah. I don't know if, yeah. It comes up a lot at my house because we have a lot of mint growing along the house. Yeah. And I've never made them, though. Hmm. That's delicious, though. Boy, that is really good. Yeah. And I'm a, yeah. That's something for me to say, because I'm kind of <clears throat> lukewarm in the whole sour thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. Our next beer is Lord Grey. Uh, Lord Grey is an Earl Grey sour ale. Which I thought was kind of interesting when I saw that. Yeah. So, be honest with you, it's been a while since since uh, Mike received these, so they've been sitting in my freezer waiting for today. And I totally forgot that they were in my freezer. So every time I go out for a beer, I'm like, where did I get this beer? <laughs> I'm like, eh, I'm not in the mood for that. that sounds weird. Actually, so, not, really you not being them. a big fan of sours probably is it, the only reason they've survived. That paid off. Yeah. Although if I'd known that other one was, was like that, I'd have more of it. Huh? Long gone. Yeah. Been like, yeah, it was really good. You should have tried it. Yeah, I brought them over to Jesse's house to stash them. So one, <laughs> I wouldn't forget them, and two, they wouldn't get drank up at my house. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good strategy. Yeah. So let's give this Earl Grey, Lord Grey, a try. Well, it's certainly not as green as the can. Same slight haze, nice yellowish color. Lovely head on it. Hmm. It's... It almost reminds me of Brett. I'm sure they're like kettle soured. A little I mean, bit. I very but... slight. I'm getting the. I'm definitely getting the tea, the tannins, a little bit of the tannins from the tea and the aroma. It definitely comes through in the flavor, but very nicely. Yeah. I mean, it's not overpowering. Yeah. It's not what I was expecting at all. Again, it's not. It's probably tarter than the first one, but it's not nearly. It's not too tart. No, and it didn't bind up my jaw or anything. Mm. That is real. I really like the level of Earl, Earl Grey on that. It really complements the sour. Yeah, yeah, I like that it's too. Good. Yeah. yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit more astringent, for sure. <clears throat> I had been concerned about the the tea. Mm-hmm. So, but no, this is really good. Mm. Yeah, that's very nice. I might have to try to grab the rest of the series when I'm in Georgia next. Hmm. I mean, I even get like a Pilsner quality in the aroma from it. Could be my imagination, but... Um, At least a light green. Yeah. Which, I mean, is saying something if it is light green, because usually that gets overpowered. Yeah. I wonder if the... You're smelling the tea, you're getting a little bit of the... Thinking the tannins is the malt? Or the... Either the tannins or the malt, or maybe the sulfur. A little bit of sulfur from the... Oh, that could be it, too. You know, just kind of give them that kind of whiff. Hmm. Oh. By the way, if you like these videos, please go ahead and click like down there. I know we reminded you in the beginning with that graphic, but we'd appreciate it. Yeah. Boy, those are... No, it seems like... I mean, it's very light, but yeah. it's, it seems like a light malt sweetness in the aroma. And it could be. I mean, this is... The other flavors are so delicate on here, I can definitely see where you'd be getting some of the malt. Yeah, definitely not overdone with anything. It's nope. not too sour, not way too much Earl Grey. Mm -hmm. It's really light-bodied and clean. Um, leaves a hint of flavor at the finish, but yeah, that's really, really nice. Well done I'm, again, three times. Yeah. I'm super impressed with the aroma of the tea, though. That is just crazy. Because it's just at the level of perceptibility for me. Where it's like, yep, that's tea. Oh, yeah. if I if someone just handed that to me, I would be like, that sounds smells familiar. Yeah, I know what yeah. it was, but since I know it's Earl Grey Earl tea, Grey, yeah, it smells like iced tea to me. That's that's really good. That is crazy. So to finish off the evening here, we have a very interesting beer. 
Day of the Departed, <laughs> which is a Bavarian barrel aged imperial stout. So this is the South American cousin of Departed Spirit. This BBA Imperial Stout is treated by hand with cinnamon bark, vanilla beans, machu picchu cocoa nibs, and ancho and gohilo chili peppers, transforming the beer into liquid Mexican cake. That sounds busy. That sounds like a lot. A lot going on. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Very, very dark, of course, which you'd expect. Yeah, it pokes the head out of that one, huh? Yeah, uh, there's no guess on how clear it is because you can't see through it. Yeah. It absorbs all light. It's, yeah. Oh, Ooh, man. Wow, that's interesting. Very, very boozy nose. Very yeah, boozy. Is. Yeah, I had to reread the description to see if it was aged in a certain kind of barrel. Just as barrel aged, though, I think. Getting some of the peppers in the nose. So I dipped my mustache into it when I was smelling it, so I went right in for the drink. <laughs> so the booziness Ooh. definitely carries into the flavor, and I'm a little more sensitive to it than Mr. Ke uh, Jesse here is. Yeah, no, it's it is kind of boozy. I don't know that I get any peppers out of it. I, I get a little bit, but what I like about it is in the flavor. I mean, Whoa. getting a little bit of everything—the chocolate and vanilla—but I'm also getting some of the peppers. But the peppers are really kind of muted by the by the like the cocoa. So I get the chocolate and the cocoa, but I don't know if I'm picking out any vanilla really. Oh, yeah, I got some vanilla there. Yeah, I was think, thinking towards the end. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. This is, I think I have five more of these at home. Ooh. Unless they come in four packs. No, they come, well. Oh, uh, I got three more at home. <laughs> <laughs> Blast. <laughs> I'll tell you what, in the dark days of winter, this is going to be a, mm -hmm. a nice beer to sit in front of the fireplace in my library. <laughs> With your smoking while jacket, G <laughs> smoking a pipe. Yeah, while Jeeves brings me my... <laughs> Gruyere cheese. <laughs> right. Go ahead. No, no. I was just, you had some I was, I was just, I was just imagining you, you sitting there in like a, in a library with your smoking jacket and bagel his dog sitting next to him and then like your son in the background playing his, <laughs> his, his, his controller thing is like, oh man like very sophisticated yeah and, there you go him swearing at a game or something uh, halo's out yeah <laughs> take that you dirty dogs <laughs> mm. sorry for that but yes I think yeah. this will definitely be enjoyed in the winter time oh, for, for sure, sure. Yep, it's not point. terribly heavy I mean, it's really super strong on the flavor. Yep. I, I'd call it medium bodied. Yeah. Well, it's not. For as much. For as dark as it is, and yeah. as low carbonation as it has, oh. and for so much stuff going on in it, yeah, I, I would expect it to be a lot thicker. Yeah. So, and it's not that, which is fine by me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I really like a lot of body in my stouts, mm -hmm. but this one's fine. Yeah, but you wouldn't have noticed probably if I didn't say something. No, no, no. Well, it's just... It's not light body. Maybe medium full. I think the... Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it certainly isn't light body. But I think... I don't know. I think chocolate has a lot to do... Lends itself with a mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. So if there wasn't a chocolate in there, it would feel a lot lighter than it is. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of bourbon in it, though. Not... It's close oh, to it being a little barrel. too much for me. Yeah. Hmm. Nope, that's about right. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I think that's perfect. Well, I'll right. condition myself. Yeah. A lot of times, I agree, though, is that a lot of people get, leave it in there just a too, too long, long. Yeah. Where it's like. Well, this isn't like I'm drinking a bottle of yeah. beer. It's not like I take a sip. I'm like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> went down to the levee because the levee was dry. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. So that's good. So I'm quite impressed with these guys. Wow. Yeah, I'm super impressed. I'd be curious to try the rest of the, well, both the series, to be honest with you. Yeah. Actually, I'd be curious to try anything they have or are willing to send us. Uh, Or if someone is willing to mule out here for us. Yeah. Yeah. When's Edie coming again? I don't know. Uh, Not soon enough. (laughs) And not just because of the beer. She's great. She was was very nice. Yeah. I enjoyed meeting her and she was a pleasure to meet her. And I didn't pay him to say that either. Well, she's bringing me beer. I'm, oh, what am I, gonna I say? guess that's true. You know, so I'm not going to say, oh, she was terrible. <laughs> Meet her at the airport. Now, what if, we, beer. what if we mix them all together? No. Oh, my. That'd be terrible. That would be sacrilegious. That'd be awful. <clears throat> so, wow. Those were, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I got nothing else to say, but rave reviews. So if you find yourself in Decatur, or they have a... Um, Apparently, they have one in Atlanta, too. They have... Oh, the Imagination the, Emporium? Imaginarium. Uh, Imaginarium. Yeah, it sounds... Let's see. Imagine, yeah, Imaginarium. I would imagine... I would imagine that Imagination Emporium is probably copyrighted by Disney. Um, Wasn't that a movie? Imagination Emporium? Imagination Emporium? I have yeah. no idea. It was like some... Eh, I don't know. Let's see if we can... Let's see. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, it looks like a really cool... So, yeah, so the uh, Imaginarium is um, dedicated to experimental beers and located in the Atlanta Dairies Complex. Sure. Dairies, sure. Uh, Two blocks off the Atlanta Beltline. So, it's um, 777 Memorial Drive, Southeast Suite B103. Yeah. Nice. I wonder what if these are mainline. I wonder what I bet some of their experimental stuff would be very. Interesting. Oh yeah. Well, what's what's kind of neat is that you know a long time ago Atlanta had like <clears throat> you know we went there and I think they had like two or three breweries. You know Sweetwater, uh, Red Brick I think was one, mm. and that was like all I could get a hold of. And now they've got a quite a number of brewing um, brewers. I'm glad to see them catching up. Yeah. 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 How long ago so, was that that they only had the three? Uh, it was a good long time ago, okay. like a decade or more. Okay, no, that's yeah. fair. It's been a long time yeah. since I've been in Georgia, so yeah. yeah, so it was before the craft beer yeah. craze. Yeah, well, I mean, the South has been a little slower to pick up on the craft beer than some other parts of the country. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. no, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, I remember. One well, of my favorite stories. You know, the family is down. My wife's family is down in Albany, Georgia, and I went to like a liquor store there, and they had one twelve pack of Sam Adams, and everything else was you know the mass produced light beers. <laughs> and I was like, well, I guess I know what I'm buying. <laughs> and then we went back a couple years later, and they had three different twelve packs of Sam Adams. Ooh. I was like, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. And then the next time they had a. Liquor store that carried a bunch of micro brews. Oh. And I was like, awesome. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Sounds cool. I just, yeah. whenever I hear you telling it, I always think of the Blues Brothers. You know, we got both kinds, country and western. <laughs> so we got, what, we, what kind of beers we got? Oh, we got both kinds. We got Bud Light and Coors Light. Yeah. And Keystone. And, yeah. yeah. And Natty. And Natty Light, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Is, is it popular down there? Yeah. Oh. Natural Light's pretty popular. Yeah. yeah. You gotta stay hydrated. I mean, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drink the water. Drink the beer. <laughs> Saint <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> so, yeah. So I but, think that does it, right? Um. Yeah. I no, think so. you got something else. I I got nothing else. Okay. Um. Yeah, I got nothing else. Okay. Well, as always, if you have questions, comments, show suggestions, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, send us an email at uh, Mike at Colorado Brew Talk, or do we determine it? You? Was, Just was, leave a comment down below. We can never remember the email address. That would be, that would be easy. There's a Facebook page too. You can yeah, go there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. That'd, that'd be a good way to do. Yeah, it. or please, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. And please, if you like the video, click like, hit subscribe, yep. whatever. Yeah, tell your friends. Yeah, exactly. Even your enemies. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> also, the subscriber count just <laughs> skyrockets. <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, until next time, yep. cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our website at coloradobrewtalk.com for more great content. While you're there, be sure to leave us a comment or drop us a line with your thoughts. 
You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at CO Brew Talk, or follow the links below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Or episodes, as the case may be.